back in 2006 when there was a very severe rainstorm, we realized that the I-10 was not functioning as had been designed. So the question became a little bit more of a regional perspective and of course a state perspective and then the national and international significance is that what if one of our ports of entry failed? What if the infrastructure leading to the ports of entry failed? We teamed with the MPO here in El Paso to see what would be the economic impact of an extreme event if it happened on the in the borderlands, specifically targeted toward freight traffic coming across the border on a daily basis in El Paso. What we did was simulate an extreme event that collapsed the entire US 54 I-10 interchange and the bridge of the Americas or the border bridge. We need to understand, can our other international ports of entry take the traffic that is that would have generally gone into the Bridge of the Americas. So we want to understand the traffic impact and the diversion of it. The task was to come up with a dollar amount in terms of freight commodity coming back and forth across the bridge and see what would be the short-term and long-term impact as far as congestion and in addition to that come up with direct costs associated with that. This does not include passenger vehicle costs. It does not include uh, diversions of commodity going to other ports and other cities. So this is just short direct costs for freight only. That came out to about two and a half million dollars a day, or that equates to about $30 billion a year. Here is one way to look at this study and say, we need a plan for perhaps more international ports of entry and then design them with the intent that if there's an incident at one of the international ports of entry, whether it's local or it's somewhere else, say for example in Ladero, Texas, is that do we have the capability to transfer that traffic so that the economy of the U.S. and the Mexican economy are sustained? That's what it's about. It's about having a plan or understanding what a plan can do, asking the what-if questions so that we are resilient to any form of failure.